Hello there, and welcome to your Infection Prevention Guide. It's our priority that during your stay with us, you are armed with the information needed to help prevent potential infections while you are in our care. Recovery and healing are our number one goals. However, like in any healthcare settings, there is always a risk of infection. The most common infections that you can get in hospitals are the flu, C. difficile, and gastro. These infections primarily affect your lungs, stomach, or intestines. Superbugs are also a group of germs that you can catch while in a healthcare setting. These bugs are often resistant to antibiotics and can be difficult to treat if they cause infection. You play an important role in preventing infections. While there's always the possibility of infection, there are ways to protect yourself and others. Let us give you some tips on how to become an expert infection fighter by keeping germs away from you and your environment. Number one, wash your hands and make sure those around you have clean hands too. Hands can be full of germs. Hands must be washed before entering an environment where care is given, before eating, after using the restroom, blowing your nose or having contact with any other body fluids, and after leaving the healthcare environment. You can use either soap and water or an alcohol-based hand rub to clean your hands. Both work really well at getting your hands squeaky clean and killing harmful germs. However, you should always use soap and water when your hands are visibly dirty or after using the bathroom. Since you're an important member of infection fighting team, we encourage you to ask your healthcare providers, such as your doctors and nurses, to wash their hands in front of you before they touch you or anything around you. Number two, sneeze and cough into your elbow and not into your hands. When you cover your nose or mouth with your hands, they get covered in germs. These germs can then be passed onto your family members and the healthcare workers around you or other patients and anything you might touch. By covering your nose and mouth with your elbow, you can decrease the number of germs that can be passed on through touch. Number three, if your room is dirty, ask to have it cleaned. When housekeeping cleans your room and the equipment in it, they kill off harmful germs. Number four, if you have any tube that goes into your veins or is used to drain urine, ask every day if you still need it. These tubes can be a place for microorganisms to grow and cause infections. Number five, take your medication as directed. This might include showering with germ-killing soap. If you're unsure how to wash with this soap or why this is important, Ask your nurse or doctor to clarify. They are there to help. Number six, if you're having surgery, ask if you should shower with germ-killing soap ahead of time. This may help reduce infection in the part of the body where the surgery will take place. Number seven, do not touch, scrub, or rub incisions or wounds. Remember, hands can be full of germs. If you touch openings in the skin like incisions and wounds, the germs on your hands can get into those openings and cause infections. Number eight, if you're in the waiting room and have a cough or a rash, make sure to wear a mask and advise a healthcare worker, such as a nurse or a doctor, as soon as possible. You don't want to share your germs with other people. If possible, call ahead and ask if there's anything you can do to avoid infecting people in the waiting room. Number nine, we know your loved ones are important, but for your safety and the safety of everyone, please ask them to avoid visiting if they're sick, clean their hands before and after entering the hospital in your room, remind everyone, including nurses and doctors, as well as other family members and friends, to wash their hands when they enter or leave your room, and keep your space tidy and uncluttered. This will help the housekeeping staff to properly clean away the germs from all the objects around you. Number 10. Speak up for your care. Remember, you are a part of the infection fighting team. If you're concerned about anything that might impact your safety, we encourage you to approach the person in charge. We wish you the best on your journey.